Turning now to what just came in brand new this morning. We are getting a new look at finances as we stay amped up over high SDG and E bills. Their parent company of SDG and E releasing earnings for 2021. And it comes as we keep pressing for answers. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol live outside SDG and E headquarters. And I know you've been combing through some of the numbers here. Let's just say the uh, the parent company is not hurting financially here. I would say so, yes. Good morning, Eric and Netta. $1.25 billion is what Sempra just announced about an hour ago, their financial report for 2021. Now, what we noticed is that most of their money was made in the fourth quarter of 2021. That's $604 million. Now, people are uh, responding to this, especially County Supervisor Jim Desmond, who says that the state needs to do something about these high rates for taxpayers with billions of dollars in um, potential budgets for taxpayers. Here's what he has to say in terms of what he thinks the state should do. Most, like I said, the people that are contacting me are the ones on fixed incomes, and they're the ones that are just kind of scared. They're saying, wait a minute, you know, I, I, you know, my rent's going up, and, you know, it's more, cost me more money to go buy food these days, put gas in the car. So, you know, is there any way you can help and get some relief? Now again, County Supervisor Jim Desmond argues that the state is expected to have a multi-billion dollar surplus this year. So uh, he suggests the state use that to offset certain state mandated programs that SDG&E customers pay for, such as the wildfire relief fund, infrastructure projects, and public benefit programs for low income rate payers. Now at SEMPRA, with more than $72 billion dollars in total assets at the 2020 end of 2021 San Diego based company is now the owner of one of the largest energy networks in North America. Now in the fourth quarter of 2021 Semper reported earnings of six hundred and four million dollars compared to four hundred and fourteen million dollars in the fourth quarter of 2020. Now from the report we learned how focused Semper is on their clean energy goal and climate resiliency hoping to have net zero emissions by 2050. Now, according to SEMPRA, SDG&E has increased its diverse portfolio of energy storage solutions, including mobile batteries, flow batteries, and microgrids. Now, when CBS 8 Shannon Handy sat down with Scott Kreider, SDG&E Senior Vice President of Customer Services and External Affairs, he says that, yes, SDG&E has always acknowledged their high rates, but they're also trying to figure out the balance of affordability with the need to have radical transformation of their electric grid. They're also trying to integrate 100% renewable energy into the grid. So the importance of climate change was really stressed within that full energy uh, interview with Shannon Handy saying that, yes, customers expect reliable and clean energy, and that does come at a price. So you can look at this full report on CBS8.com as well as that full interview that uh, Shannon Handy he did sit down with that uh, VP of SDG&E to really clear up some of the reasons why San Diegans are seeing those rate hikes. But this morning, again, $1.25 billion is what SEMPRA is uh, reporting for their 2021 earnings, and most of that made in the fourth quarter.